Today I'll show you how to change your character's texture like the eye color or even clothes and hair in Unity. This is a useful visual effect if your character has multiple personalities, being possessed, or when they enter their super powered mode. For this tutorial, I highly recommend you to download the project files from my GitHub page and open up the before tutorial folder in the Unity Hub. Here I've set up a small test scene where we have our character standing against a colored background. I've downloaded some animations from Mixamo and had set up the character with an animator component. In an empty game object, this little script is set to create a button to trigger the animation in the animator. In the play mode, we can see our character is in an idle animation and happy expression. But if we click on this button, our character will change into her evil state. But if we click it again, she will change back to her normal self. But something is missing here. I feel like it's not convincing enough. We need more visual change for the evil side. So let's change her eyes into blood red. Before we proceed further, it's important that we understand what is a texture and what is a material. A texture is a flat picture used in a 3D object, like the textures of the eyes and clothes. While a material is a file that contains the details to map a flat 2D texture into a 3D model. A material can have multiple textures like the base texture, the glowing texture, the shadow texture, and so many more. We can look at materials used by our Fluoride model in our project window. As you can see here, our Fluoride model uses many materials for different parts. There is a material for the skin, materials for the clothes, material for the hair, and so on. But right now, we are interested in the material for the eyes. For this spheroid model, there are four materials for the eyes. Your spheroid model may have less materials if you have reduced the material count option when you were exporting your model in spheroid studio. In general, having more materials means more flexibility when we want to modify them. But reducing materials can slightly improve performance and the size of the file model. Back in Unity, these four eye materials serve different purposes. The eye extra material is for the funny anime expression. The eye highlight material is for the light shine on the eyes. The eye iris material is for the texture of the central part of the eyes. And the eye white material is for the white part of the eyes. For this tutorial, we are going to focus on the eye iris material and eye highlight material. If we click on the eye iris material, we can see its properties in the inspector window. There are a lot of properties that we could modify. I've prepared the red eye texture in the texture folder in our project window. If we want to change the iris of our character, we could just simply drag and drop the evil eye iris texture into the little square next to the lit color alpha, and also to the square next to the shade color. However, this is just a manual way of doing it. If we want to change the eye texture while we are in the game, we need to create a script. Let's press Ctrl Z twice to return our character to their original eye texture. Let's right click on the scripts folder in the project window and create a new script called Swap Texture. Then open it in Visual Studio. Let's first create a reference variable for the eye material for both the iris and the highlight. Then, let's also create a reference variable for the two textures we're going to use, each for the iris and the highlight. Let's group them together by writing this header attribute so that it's neat and tidy in the inspector. Now let's create a new function called swap texture and write this code down to set the new texture to the material. 
These quotations refer to the name of the properties inside the shader used in the UnivRM material. It has to be exact and case sensitive, so letter capitalization matters. At this point, we can already change the eye texture to the new red eye texture with this script. But there is no way to change back to the original textures. We want to make it so that this script will alternate between the two textures every time it is called. So, we need to create two states for our function. One to assign the original texture, and another one to assign the red eye texture. We could use a simple number to keep track of the current state. Let's create a new integer variable called texture index and set its default to 1. When this function is called, if texture index is 1, we use state 1. And when texture index is 2, we use state 2. Of course, we also need to update texture index at the end of the if statement. We're almost ready. We just need to add one more function to wrap this up. This last function makes it so that if our character is in the evil state when the game is stopped, we swap the texture back to the original texture. This is important because if we change the texture of a material, it will keep the change when the game is stopped, unlike other variables where they will return to their original value before the game is run. Save the script and return to Unity. Let's click on the swap texture object, then drag and drop our new script to the inspector. Let's fill these fields with our material and textures. Let's use the search function in the project window by typing in iris. The rightmost result is the original eye texture. The middle one is the iris material, and the left one is the evil eye texture. Let's drag and drop this into the inspector, just like we did before. Let's do it again for the highlight material. After we're done, don't forget to clear the search bar. When we enter play mode, if we press on the button, our character's eyes don't change their color. Hmm. This is because we haven't assigned our function to be called by the button. So let's exit the play mode and open up the swap controller script. Let's first add our swap texture script reference. Then we want to call our function. But we need to be careful with the timing here. We need to call this function around frame 17 and frame 100 of the transition animation, or around 0.28 and 1.66 seconds after the animator is called to change the eye texture when our character closes her eyes. Otherwise, our character will change her eyes suddenly before the animation, which doesn't look as good. To do this, we can add this invoke function. Invoke allows us to call this function exactly after a certain delay, which is very useful for our purpose. Save the script and return to Unity. Let's drag the swap texture component to the swap controller component. Let's go to the play mode, and when we press the button, our character changes their eye color. Nice! But we can do so much more. We could change other texture too, like hair color and clothes. But first, we need to make some adjustments to our script. Let's open swap texture script again. We could add some new textures and materials references, but then our script will look kinda messy. So this time, we're going to copy these variables and make a struct called swappable. A struct is a data type that can contain other variables. So instead of manually typing in the new textures and materials variables every time, we could just create another struct that contains them. Don't forget to add systems.serializable, otherwise this struct will not appear in the inspector. We also need to instantiate this at the top of our script. Save the script, and when we return to Unity, in the inspector, 
We can see that we have a collapsible properties that contain our material and textures. But we could go even better. If we create a list out of this truck, in the inspector, we can add a new item into the list without writing a new line of code every time. Back in Visual Studio, we no longer need these header variables, so we can just erase them. Now, we need to modify our code a bit so that it works with our list of structs. We just need to change how we call each variable in the struct and also make a loop for each if statements. Save the script and return to Unity. In the textures folder, we have five evil textures that we could use on our character. So let's create five items in our list and drag and drop the materials and textures just like we did before. Now, when we go into play mode, when our character enters her evil state, she also changes her clothes. Note that swapping clothes is only possible if your character uses the same base clothes. It won't work if you try to use this dress texture on a shirt. But of course, the transitions for the clothes don't look as great as the eye transition. This is because the eye can change its texture when it is close, while our clothes can hide behind anything. In the future tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a smooth transition for changing clothes. If you want to see that, consider subscribing and ring the bell so you'll be notified when that video goes up. If this video helps you, click on the like button. And with that, I think I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.